Hello, Internet friends. I'm Ryan, and this is Demos in the Dark. And tonight we have another amazing steampunk inspired pedal from Rot Iron Effects. This is the N1. The N1 Germanium Carrier Rocket. And I know that this is an H, but that is a Cyrillic H, which is an N. So I'm not crazy, at least not about this. Other stuff, Jerry's still out. The N1 is a punishing Germanium fuzz. There is not a ton of subtlety in this pedal. It is in your face all the way, and uh, that is what makes it super super fun to play there is also this pogo oscillation circuit here which is an oscillation fuzz circuit that is tameable at times and at other times it just does whatever it absolutely feels like so let's throw it down here on a mix on multiple guitar tracks as well as bass and then come on back here and we will run through the n1 all by its lonesome deeper dive into the N1 from Rot Iron Effects. But first, I am running this absolutely gorgeous Grez Guitars Mendocino Jr. that I have here in the studio for another project, but I'm trying to get as much playtime out of it as I can before I got to send it back. Super, super cool Junior style guitar that sounds absolutely fantastic and plays like a dream. More on that in a future video. And I am running into a Benson Amps Vincent with a Tallbird Reverb Unit, and it sounds like this. All right, so we have a couple of different controls on here. We have what I consider to be the meat and potatoes. We have a thrust, which is a gain or a fuzz control. And then we have a lift, some people call that volume. On the side, we have an oscillation dial, which is very cool. And that coincides with this button here, which 
engages the oscillation circuit. And then we got this guy to turn it on and off. So let's hit the meat and potatoes first and see what kind of sounds we can get out of that. And then we'll do the oscillation after. see firsthand there just how reactive this fuzz pedal is to your guitar's volume knob. It's crazy. It'll go from just a wall of nuts fuzz to really spanking clean with, you know, an eighth of a turn on your volume knob. So that's great. That is not the only thing that reacts to your volume knob, but the oscillation circuit will also change with the volume and tone knobs on your guitar. So got the knob here i'm setting it on full and i'm gonna show you just kind of what this thing does it's crazy <laughs> to use the oscillation circuit. It is the funnest way to use the oscillation circuit, but it is not the only way. And I have found some really great sounds by dialing that control back quite a bit and then pulling back the thrust or the gain and you're able to get some really, really cool sounds. <laughs>
So you have it. That is just a brief look at the N1 from Rot Iron Effects. I always love getting their stuff in because it always just looks so dang cool. And it, they always sound dang cool too. So it's it's great. It's a great, he's a great builder. He makes cool stuff. So thank you to Rod Iron for sending that over. Thank you to Grez for letting me continue to use this guitar for a little while. And thank you to you for your time.